The polar bear taps out and the beast loves it. Takes an elbow to the head from Asiya. Steps up to guard. Wow. Dan Severn was the first to show that freestyle wrestling is effective in the field of ultimate fighting sports. Breaking the stereotypes and backbones of his opponents, Severn managed to elevate himself to the rank of legends in the pantheon of early MMA years. Today we will look back at his best years in the UFC. Dan Severn is a man who can be safely called one of the founding fighters of mixed martial arts. Growing up on a farm, the future fighter nurtured perseverance and diligence from an early age. These important qualities helped already grown-up Dan in mastering wrestling, the discipline that would become the foundation of his MMA style. According to his coaches and opponents, Severn was a real wrestling anomaly and had no problem unleashing even the most titled opponents. As for many athletes, Dan's dream was to get to the Olympic Games, but he lost his final qualifying bout and lost it to eventual winner of the Olympic Games. Injuries soon forced Dan to abandon his dream of the Olympics. Severn began a coaching career, but it didn't bring much money, so the financial issue was very acute. At the same time, the UFC, a new organization, was arranging its first mixed martial arts tournaments. The Beast learned about it, and the idea of participating fights without rules seemed to the wrestler very promising, and the most importantly, profitable. So, on December 16, 1994, the American made his debut at the UFC 4 tournament. We must mention that the winner of the tournament was considered the champion at that time. The fighters had to enter the cage several times in one night to determine who is the strongest, and an objective system for judging fights had not even been invented yet. Despite all this, Dan decided to enter the cage. Truth be told, none of the organizers wanted to see the wrestler as a participant in the UFC tournament, and even having included him in the tournament, Few expected much from the already not very young and good-natured wrestling coach, but Severn made all critics shut their mouths already with his first performance. Daniel Severn. Severn. In his debut, he faced an equally newcomer, Anthony Macias, who would go on to be nicknamed the Mad Dog for his brash and reckless fighting style. Anthony. After missing a few low kicks, Severn decided to take matters into his own hands. He went in for a double leg takedown. Then he sweeped his opponent across the canvas. Then executed a couple of impressive suplexes, which were the first in the history of the young organization. Going behind a discouraged Macias, the beast literally pressed his hand under his opponent's jaw and delivered a rough but very effective choke. The opponent in the semi-finals for the MMA pioneer was another striker. Marcus Bossett. The opponent delivered some painful body shots. So then waited for the leg to be thrown out again, and at the same moment he performed an important takedown. After transition, the beast made an arm triangle choke with just one hand, strangling the poor guy in less than a minute. In the final fight of the tournament, Severn found himself in the cage with the winner of the UFC 1 and a true discovery of the martial arts world, Boyce Gracie, who was able to make any opponent give up. At the first opportunity, Dan flew into the Brazilian's legs and ended up in his guard. But there was no further development. The fighters spent about 15 minutes in that position. In the first five minutes, the American tried to choke his opponent, relying on his inhuman strength, but failed to finish the submission. 
Then Gracie's jiu-jitsu kicked in. Boys repeatedly tried to use the Ezekiel choke. Almost 10 minutes in. And also threw a triangle with his legs. He's trying to reach across and grab the opposite hand of Gracie and then use his free hand to punch because the block... The American defended against two submission attempts, but couldn't endure the third and tapped, giving the victory to his opponent. After working on his striking technique and diversifying his style on the ground, Severn returned at the UFC 5. This time he was greeted first in the cage by the unrealized judo Olympian Joe Charles. The beast in his own fashion rushed in for a first seconds takedown. Jim, here's the quick takedown by Severn. Once on the ground, the fighters moved rather quickly to the guard position, where Dan immediately showed his progress. After landing a body shot, he immediately straightened his posture, preventing Charles from pinning him. Joe tried to go for a classic judo armbar from the guard, but lost his position and turned his back on Severn. A classic white belt mistake. The American immediately took his back and choked his opponent, which sealed his way into the semifinals. At the next stage, the American's opponent was a graduate of Sambo School, the future winner of the UFC tournament, and one of the first MMA fighters from Russia, Oleg Taktarov, who had previously managed to win by submission. Taktarov didn't want to get into a wrestling exchange, but then left him no chance. After the throw, he decided to move away from his old tactics with submissions and focused on a tight ground and pound. The rules allowed him to strike with any limb, and the beast actively took advantage of that. Elbows, knees, even his head. Everything was flying in Oleg's direction. At one point, the Sambo fighter managed to repeat Joe Charles' armbar move, but paid for it with a batch of hard knees. Soon, the Russian's entire face was drenched in blood, and John McCarthy decided to stop the fight because of the horrible cut. The finale of the UFC 5 tournament. Just like last time, Dan made it to the end without much difficulties. But if last time his path went through strikers, this time he met only with grapplers in every fight. The main event of the evening was no exception. Severn's last opponent was freestyle wrestler and judoka Dave Benetto, who had two stoppage victories in less than three minutes during the tournament. Benetto in the tights, the long tights, Severn in the speed up. Bonetto was the first who not only withstood the initial onslaught of the beast, but also tried to take Severn down. The American was able to stay on his feet, but missed some very heavy uppercuts, and then went into a tight clinch. The mutual fight for the takedown lasted a couple of minutes, until Severn unexpectedly made the undercut. Dave, who wasn't expecting that, immediately gave up sight control, which was a fatal mistake for him. Dan got his opponent's arm and immediately made a submission, ending the night with the third finish and becoming the UFC champion. After winning the coveted belt, Severn decided not to miss the opportunity and took part in his third UFC tournament. This time, the Grand Prix was packed as tightly as possible, so his first opponent was none other than Ken Shamrock, who has already fought more than 20 fights under the MMA rules. Ken tried to make a quick takedown, but the wrestling master saw it coming and made a sprawl. The fighters exchanged with clinch holds, trying to get each other off the ground, but all the attempts were ineffective. Severn's That's got a choke. Leg. That's a choke. That's, oh, Severn got out of it. 
there was complete parody in stand-up wrestling. But as soon as Dan put his head down, Shamrock immediately closed a tight guillotine choke. Feeling the steel hands on his neck, the Beast decided not to lose his health and quickly capitulated, flying out of the tournament in the first fight. 1995 gave MMA fans three UFC tournaments, the last of which fell in December and was called Ultimate Ultimate. This time the audience was to see nine bright fights. There were many familiar faces among the fighters, including champions of early events, Tektarov and Severn. In the quarterfinals, Dan had to fight the wrestler Paul Verulens, who was a finalist of the seventh tournament, but lost by technical knockout. Polar Bear wanted to run Dan over, but the American immediately moved the giant pole to the mats with ease. See if Severn can control the wrestling, he does right away. And he goes. After taking side control, the veteran began to look for an opportunity for a choke, and very soon he found it. It's a semi chokehold. It all depends on. Bull's neck wasn't the Severn still grip, and it was impossible to get out of it. The polar bear taps out of the feet. In the semi-finals, the skilled wrestler's opponent was a true people's favorite and master of street fights, David Abbott, known to the world as Tank. Abbott has always been known for his crazy and powerful striking, but due to his lack of a wrestling skills, the street gangster was losing to anyone who had one. On paper, Severn was Tank's nightmare, and it proved to be true. After defending against the first takedown, the tank immediately fell from the second, ending up under Severn. The beast chopped him with elbows. To the head of Abbott again. The elbow's a much better bet. Knees to the head. Severn talking to his corner. As Tried to break an arm. The only thing that's working for him is... Choke. But his opponent endured everything heroically, even though he couldn't get up on his feet. Torture from then continued for the whole allotted time. And at the end, the victory went to him only by a decision. The Beast came up against his previously beaten opponent, Oleg Tektarev, who also reached unanimous victory against the Brazilian, Marco Huas, in the semifinals. At the beginning, the fighters looked at each other. Seem phased or okay. But Tiktarev stumbled and immediately paid for his mistake by ending up on the canvas. In just a couple of minutes, blood was flooding Oleg's face, and the ruthless American kept on tormenting him with headshots. Well, as long as they're wrestling, I, I think Oleg can, can deal. And submission attempts. I don't know if he has anything left. The very fact that the Russian survived to the end of the fight is astonishing. The absolute annihilation on the ground lasted an insane 30 minutes and ended with a decision in Dan's favor and another championship belt awarded to him. Not many people wanted to see Dan Severn at the UFC tournament because at that time freestyle wrestling was not considered as a martial art. However, the Beast, in spite of everyone, managed to prove the opposite in fights against the best fighters of the world. Nowadays his fights are unique classic of the sport, and he is a true icon of mixed martial arts. That's it, he's got him. Wow. Now we are underway. And immediately Severn grabs the leg. And hits the arm together. Oh, no, and there it is, a choke. It's a choke. Severn goes in first. Oh, the arm's a close oh, look. 